So you've got your nice page and you're adding your background image and wait, did you know this can be terrible for performance on many levels? The way I'm loading this image in CSS here doesn't give me hardly any ability to make sure this image loads fast. And sure, you could say I can add a bunch of media queries to manually specify different sizes for all kinds of screens. But even with this, I'm not taking into account screen resolution, which is equally important. Or you could say, aha, I know a trick. Image set in CSS lets me specify different images for different resolutions. You're right, and this works okay if the image has an exact width on all screens. But for responsive images, you need to take into account both the screen size and resolution together. This is anywhere from complicated to not possible with CSS. So as you might have guessed, there's a better way. That's right, good old image tag. In modern HTML, the image tag gives us a ton of useful attributes to optimize performance. The first huge one is the loading equals lazy option for browser native automatic lazy loading of images with zero JavaScript and fantastic performance. This is critical to make sure your visitors are not wasting kilobytes downloading images that aren't even visible on the page yet and may never become visible at all. Next, we can add alt text for better SEO and proper accessibility. Or if this image is presentation only, use role equals presentation to be a bit more equivalent to like a CSS background image. Next is the ability to control an entire sort set. And this is a more powerful version than you get with CSS. Because with this, we can use the W unit, which automatically takes into account both screen size and screen resolution. So an image currently displaying to a user at 100 pixels wide, but at 2x resolution, will grab the 200 wide image or the closest variant you've provided. And the browser does this completely automatically. Now that does require though, the browser to have rendered the image to know the size to pick the most optimal version. Otherwise it could default to an image that's too large. That's where we additionally get the sizes attribute, where we can say at different screen sizes, what the relative width of this image will be. So maybe it's 100% of the view width at this size. And for the rest, maybe it's half of the view width. Now the browser, even before the page renders, can pull the most optimal image. One more major optimization we can do here is to recognize we're using PNGs. These are supported by every browser, but not the most optimal in most cases. This is where we can add the picture tag around our image. And now we can use the source tag, specifying a WebP version of this image with its full source set. So now every browser that supports the WebP will get a faster loading image with all the same optimizations. We can even do the same thing with other formats like AVIF if we like as well. And if we wanna take things even further, we can specify what type of decoding to use, like async, as well as the fetch priority of this image. So there's a lot you can do to ensure your images load as fast as possible, which can make a big difference for your site performance. But if this seems complex, you're in luck. Modern frameworks like Next.js and Quick provide you with easy to use image components out of the box. So you just apply the path to the original image and most, if not all of those optimizations are done for you automatically. And if you do or don't use one of those frameworks, more and more services these days, like Cloudinary and Builder.io, provide image components that work just like this and work across many, many frameworks as well. So you can just write this and your users get all of this with all these great optimizations. We touched on a lot there. So if you'd like to learn more about each of those performance attributes I mentioned, as well as those easy options to make sure your images are fast by default, you can read all about it in my full article on the Builder.io blog.